Welcome to our week three result in YouTube. And the objective for this first part is number one, identify the reason why Rizal has to study in Europe. Number two, identify the places on his way to Europe and see his thoughts about it. And the last one is value Rizal's reflective attitude towards the places he visited. So it's a serious time. Let's wrap it. Welcome class to our week three. And our topic for this week would be Rizal as the traveler. So nakita natin ang education Rizal mula sa Kalamba and Binyan. And then when he had his high school in Ateneo and when he took his college in USD. So what is the reason why he went to Europe? And uh, what are the places uh, which Rizal actually visited? And what are the activities of Rizal in Europe? So those are the things that we're going to learn on this week three. So trivia muna tayo. Alam nyo ba na sa Spain ay may tatlong monuments si Rizal? So the first one is built or was built in 1996. It was uh, it can be found in Madrid, Spain. It was uh, originally uh, a replica of the Luneta Park monument. Number two, the Rizal monument can be found in Andorra, La Velia, parang cherry blossom yung background. And then we have the third monument of Rizal in Cadiz, Spain, and uh, this is very significant because this was designed sculpted by uh, a Manila-born Spanish-Filipino sculptor. So, makita natin yung uh, monument in Rizal, or bust. So, what is, the, what is the implication of this? This is very significant in a sense that, remember, Rizal advocated for a reform, and he uh, fought against the injustice of a Spanish colonial government. But as of today, Spain recognizes that Rizal is indeed a great man. So, Kung dati kaaway ni Rizal ang Spain, as of today, eh, kinikilala ng Spain na si Rizal ay isang mabuti at uh, significant na tao. So Rizal in Spain, 1882 to 1885. We can see right here, nag-aral sa UST, nasaktan. Ba't siya nasaktan? Again, we can see that uh, he was unhappy with the uh, UST, Dominican Friars Education because it is a kind of bias towards him being a, a student from Ateneo at the same time, the method of instruction in USD is actually hindi uh, niya nagustuhan. So nasaktan siya, he was unhappy, kaya siya nag -abroad. Again, remember, Europe is the center of the world. We have the Renaissance, Age of Enlightenment, revolutions and all. And this will be the environment where Rizal will eventually be exposed to. So according to Zayde, may secret mission daw si Rizal na ang nakakaalam lang ay ang kanyang kapatid, older brother, Pasiano. Ano yung secret mission? According to Saide, it is to observe the life, uh, culture, languages, customs, industries, commerce, government, and laws of the European nation. So parang spy, parang spy si Rizal. Okay? Um, let me read to you the account of Rizal's letter to his parents. <coughs> but as God has not made anything useless in this world, as all beings fulfill obligations or a role in the sublime drama of creation, I cannot exempt myself from this duty, and small though it be, I too have a mission to fill. As for example, alleviating the sufferings of my fellow men, I realize that all this means sacrifices and terrible ones. I imagine the pain which I must give you, but I feel something that obliges and impels me to leave. I shall strive with faith, and I shall win or lose. God's will be done. So, yun ang sulat ni Rizal sa kanyang mga parents. And we have another account, Pashan's letter dated May 20 to Rizal. When the telegram informing us of your departure was received in Kalamba, as it was natural, our parents were grieved. So, nalungkot yung mga magulang niya nung umalis siya. Especially the old man, yung kanyang tatay, who became taciturn, always staying in bed and weeping at night. Seeing this and fearing that his taciturnity might degenerate into malady, I told him everything, but to him alone begging to keep the secret, and he promised to do so. So according to this account by Pasiano, sinabi niya ang sikreto ng pag-alis ng, uh, ni Pepe sa tatay. <coughs> so here we go. Uh, Rizal, his departure is known to a number or a few people only. And on May 3, 1882, our hero uh, began his journey towards Europe. He aborted the steamer Salvadora bound to Singapore. So, Singapore, anong ginawa ni Rizal? So, he befriended the captain of the steamer and he said he is much more refined 
than his other countrymen and colleagues that I have met. Remember yung mga Sp Spaniards uh, which uh, actually come to the Philippines during that time? They are actually gold diggers and most of them are fortune hunters. So, hindi sila mayaman sa Spain. Kaya nga sila pumunta sa Philippines during that time. It's for them to have a better life and better opportunities. So, Rizal um, played chess with his fellow passengers. And uh, on May 8, he saw Singapore. And one thing na manonotice natin kay Rizal, laging yung point of reference niya upon seeing the other lands would be his own land. Halimbawa, nakita niyo Singapore. Ang nailala niya ay yung scenic beauty ng Talim Island with Susong Dalaga. So, I have here the picture of um, Talim Island or bundok ng Susong Dalaga. Okay, Susong Dalaga. Susong da, suso. Okay, it's a breast. So, yan. So, use your imagination. Bakit siya tinawag na uh, bundok ng susong dalaga. Okay. <laughs> so, another thing from Singapore to Colombo. So, again, the first place uh, reached by Rizal would be Singapore. It's called, Singapore is called a fine city. Marami laging fine dun eh. Very, very disciplined. Pangalawa, they are known for multiracial. Talagang yung mga lahi dun. Talagang ano, uh, uh, they are mingling well. So, the second country would be Colombo or Sri Lanka. Okay? So, punta tayo sa Hotel de la Paz. Nandito yung hotel, okay? Where Rizal stayed. I don't know, but perhaps until now it's existing in Singapore. And then, we have Gemna. So, Gemna is a French steamer bound to Europe. And Rizal, kagandaan kay Rizal, being a, being a teacher of Rizal, of course, no? And if I'm a historian, if I'm an historian, I will not really find it hard to uh, find documents about Rizal's life because he wrote it himself. So, hindi mahirap arali ng boy ni Rizal. So, may travel diary siya. The general appearance of Point Galley is picturesque but lonely and quiet and at the same time sad. So, he reached Colombo, the capital of Ceylon. It's called Sri Lanka right now. And he was enamored by Colombo. Sabi niya, Colombo is more beautiful, smart, and elegant than Singapore, Point Galleon, Manila. So, eventually, he reached um, Africa, Aden, <laughs> sa Somalia. It's very important. And from there, he saw camels for the first time. And then he eventually reached Egypt, which is, of course, another part of Africa. The, the city of Suez, uh, wherein the Suez Canal can be found, is very significant. Before, if you are a European or, or, a, or a nation traveling to Europe, it would take a very, very long time. But because of the Suez Canal, kumaga hinukay nila yung lupa para magkaroon ng canal na maka-shortcut yung mga barko. Um, I've asked uh, seamen na mga nasa barko pag nakakababa sila. I used to inquire about uh, the Suez Canal and even this Gulf of Aden. Bakit maraming pirates sa Aden? It's because that's the only way. And according to a seaman which I interviewed long time ago, uh, yung mga cargo ships kasi, they are not allowed to be armed. So hindi sila pwede maging armed kaya sila napapirate naakyat sila ng mga Somalian pirates. And then, ang nagpo-protect sa kanila ay ang mga uh, countries with their own special force like the British, Americans. So, may mga escorts sila. Okay, you have to pay for it. Okay? So, because of the Suez Canal, uh, it's very important. The communications and travel and ideas uh, flew back and forth. Uh, na mas napabilis ang communication. Yung mga nangyari sa Europe, mas mabilis na lalaman ng mga Asia and vice versa. So, yay! Rizal arrived in Europe. In June 11, so he started out his journey May 3. Nakarating siya ng Europe sa Italy, June 11. So, mabilis na yun, partida, isang buwan mahigit. Mabilis na yun. He reached Naples, an Italian city, and he was fascinated by Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius is very significant because when he, when uh, there was a time it actually exploded, and there was an entire city buried underneath the lava and all the, the, the pyro, pyro something of the volcano. And it provided archaeologists a very rich study. Because na, 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 natabunan yung bayan, yung life ng mga tao na preserve. In June 12, uh, he reached Mersa and he visited the Chateau de Elf. And uh, isa sa mga nabasa niya. And June 15, he reached Madrid. Okay? So, yan ang biyahe ng Rizal. So, Colombo, Singapore, Italy, yung mga bansa. And June 16, he uh, arrived in Barcelona, Spain's second largest city. So, I have here the map of Rizal. So, may makita natin dito from... From Philippines to Colombo, makita natin yung Red Arrow hanggang dito sa Suez Canal, sa Egypt. And then, punta sa Mediterranean, nakarating siya ng Spain. So, that is the first part of the travel of Vesarizal. Again, 
He traveled because according to Zaydem, a secret mission siya. But of course, the main purpose is to study medicine uh, because of his mother's eyesight. And then, along the way, he is very observant, or he was very observant uh, sa mga countries na na-visit niya. Okay? So, stay tuned for the next part of our lesson.